Okay, welcome to the video. Today we're going to learn all about power moves in mid journey. So, what am I talking about here? I'm talking about doing several things at once when you make your prompt. And uh and you could do this many different ways. You could do it in the prompt structure, you know, with the words that you're using. Uh today we're going to do it on the back end. And so what I mean by power moves is we're going to change the aspect ratio. We're going to have two, 16 to 9, which is horizontal, and 1 to 1, which is square. And we're also going to do three levels of creativity with our style, and that's 100, 450, and 900. And then we've got four different SREF codes to try out. And, of course, you can see right here we've been playing around with Hollywood movie stars on the red carpet. Uh, and uh, here you can see we're using different S refs and uh, these are giving us different looks, but also we're playing around with the level of uh, chaos, which is your variety, okay? Um, for our great white shark image that we're gonna make, uh, we're not using creativity, I mean, excuse me, chaos. We're gonna be playing with the aspect ratio. So. What I wanted to do was just go ahead and hit the go button here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to create all of these images at once. Now, for those of you on the lower tier mid journey plans, this um, totally eats up your uh, GPU time. So one thing you might want to remember is uh, you don't, if you want to do this, don't do too many. You can do one or two. I've got a whole bunch on here. So just be, just be careful, right? So here's the, here's, we, here's where we go. Uh, here's our first one with the horizontal aspect ratio of 16 to nine. And we've got these different um, S refs, 330, uh, this, this one right here. And then this, uh, this one here, right? Um, and so what's happening is it's, it's starting and it's creating our images for us. And uh, hopefully we'll get something really dynamic. And what we want more than anything is uh, the, the variety of different things. So we can pick and choose what we might want to use for our purposes later. So here is the ones with the squares. Uh, you can see these have a different look than the ones that are in the rectangles. Uh, and that's just because um, of the way that Midjourney works, right? So Midjourney wants to fill up the space. So if you're using something with a hor horizontal view, the shark will be more in profile full body. If you do it in a square, of course, it's going to like make the shark bend a little bit and it's going to try to put everything within that. Um, within that space. And as you can see, uh, it sometimes it takes mid journey a little while to get everything built. All right, now we've got all of our images, they've all loaded. And you can see we get quite a different bit of variety. So if we're trying to like make a graphic, make a poster, do something that looks really cool, we have a lot to work with here. And what's really great is uh, we've got different looks that we can choose and these are all really based on the SREF code. Uh, but what's fun is we've got these different layouts. And of course, if we wanted to, we could we could change some things. We could change things up uh, with our edit command. Um, but anyway, so this is a great way for you to do a power move and really design a lot of stuff all at once. So uh, you should try it out again. That's just with using the curly brackets and then putting things in the curly brackets for each different command that you want. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or anything, shoot us uh, something in the comments and uh, appreciate you if you would subscribe both to the Mid Journey uh, YouTube Experience YouTube channel, but also to our Mid Journey Experience newsletter that comes out every single week and it's only 12 bucks uh, a month. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.